and pan. We are starting off great. I, I, I hear you. Well, you know what? The machine. Uh, uh, uh there we go. All right, here we, we go. go. You know, we take a week off and everything Ooh. goes shit. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean the real or fake song. I think it's gonna be rough because I accidentally unplugged the external hard drive that has our stuff. Uh huh. But then I plugged it back in and the pictures came back up. But now I think every video file and sound file, I have to click again. I'm on it. Great. As long as you're on it. Well, I'm on it. For everybody tuning in tonight, we are the uh, two paranormal idiots from ParanormalWarehouse.com. This is real or fake live that we do, for the most part, every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. And we missed last week because there was some scheduling conflict going on. But we are back this week. Thank you for tuning in. And make sure to share with your paranormal friends. We are yeah. on Facebook. We are on Facebook right now, live on the Paranormal Ooh, Warehouse. I gotta get on Periscope here. Uh, Facebook page. We are also on the Viddy Space Facebook page, and we are also on Viddy Live. And also, if you got some streaming shit going on on your Amazon Fire Stick or Roku, and you got the Viddy Space app, you can watch us there as well every Thursday night. Like you know, my man, parents. We're really, uh, we're really moving on up here. Yeah, we're when, killing when the you game. When you get on Amazon and the Roku. You know, I feel like we're we're in the big leagues here. You know what I mean? We are. And if you see me going like this and not looking at the camera, I am talking to everybody on Viddy.Live and on Facebook. So that's what I'm doing. Right, right. I'm going to tweet. I'm tweeting at everybody. Wow. All right. So what did we do last week? We talked about that story where a uh, son, a boy, a young man in his 20s passed away tragically and they caught a picture of this boy correct so you know no video last time we got this picture and i gotta say it is a strange convincing picture it looks good it looks good a lot of people um who saw this are pointing out that there's a shadow behind the the the, the apparition on right the um like where the sink is what would you call that lower sink area the cupboard yeah it's kind of like the back the back uh what do they call it it's like the uh what do the they call back, it the back the, the back uh, sink the sink back no no uh the back drawers flash like the fuck i don't know don't worry about it the cabinets hey rob what do you call the piece underneath the sink? Like the little cabinets underneath the sink? Um, she says a vanity. I don't know if that's the right answer. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it. Uh, but, yeah, so there's a shadow there. What do you think after after people have highlighted that? I feel like we didn't talk about it. Someone said it's a dang cabinet. You're right. Backsplash is what you were looking at. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. But that's, yeah. not, that's behind the sink. That's where it splashes. All right, whatever. Everyone's uh, of us. It's cabinets. It's cabinets. We're going to go with cabinets, everybody. <laughs> people are saying we're lagging on Facebook because the video keeps lagging. I don't know what. I don't, dude, what, don't even worry about it. Let's just keep on going forward here. So what do you, what do you think about this picture? Um, I said real, I believe, in the sense that, well, I kind of wish we had a little bit more information in the actual video, but from what we learned is that it takes uh, a screenshot of what's happening. Um, yeah, it was a sur surveillance camera, and it, um, I guess it sends you a picture to your app. And, you know, I would think that it would send a video, but I guess they don't have that feature. And there is no video. I've searched high and low. Right. Uh, so there is no video. Um yeah, I don't know. I, it's it's interesting to me in the sense that because you can see through the head portion, like you could see the frame of the window. Right, but not the rest of the body. Correct. That's also interesting to me. 
Yes. Now, you could say that this is some type of glitch in the security camera system in the sense that it's obviously not taking high-quality pictures anyway. Right. I wonder if there could be some, uh, like, blending of a picture, you know, like a blur motion picture. Right. So, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm on Periscope. But you know what else I was thinking? That shadow? What if that's, like, the end of his his robe... And you could see shirt and pants. Like his robe is behind, you know, more back. I hear what you're saying. And shirt and pants. I got a fake on Periscope. Lover of mutts. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Uh, what do people think on Facebook right now about this? Uh, I know we got a lot of reels. I keep getting disconnected from video.live. But I know we got a lot of reels the two weeks ago when we did it. Mike, I think that's the the someone asked a line coming from like the back of his head. I always that's thought I, I yeah, I thought it was the window, but it's not. It's not the middle frame of the window. It's not. Yeah, that like, that black line going up behind his head. Oh no, his no, head. no, no. Um I was I thought you meant the white line that's going I'm pointing as if you can see what I'm pointing no, at. But Mike the, on uh, Periscope is pointing that out. I don't know. You know, I, I just kinda Thought it was a shadow or something, but on its heart, it's like a shitty picture. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, people are saying real for the most part. Uh, it's tough. I think it's tough to definitively categorize it as anything, but yeah, I think hard. it is. God. I, I think it is interesting in the sense that, well, nobody was supposed to be in the house at that time except for the mother and the daughter, correct? And then. Yeah, I think they were watching TV. Um, So, uh, sorry, I'm reading the Facebook comments. So, I, they there was nobody in the house. So that's what's weird about it. So if that story is true, they believe it's their um, the son that passed away, son and brother that passed away. Yeah. So from a drug overdose. So was it a drug overdose? I thought it was a drug overdose. I don't know. It's just a bold claim. You know what I mean? What if you got hit by a truck or something? Well, whatever. It was a tragedy, and. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say anything against a story like that, you know, because you feel bad, feel bad for the family, obviously. Yeah. Um, and we did talk last time, too, that they are part of, like, a bunch of charities. He was a part of a bunch of charities with the sister, I believe. Um, Ooh, someone said that that it looks like a rope. I don't think he hung himself, though. No. I From what I understood, it was a um, a drug thing. Maybe. I mean, it was just a tragedy that... So uh, someone said, one reason you said real makes sense. Would somebody put this out with the backstory? I mean, I hope not. You would hope not, but who knows? It could be also be a glitch with the camera. Yeah, it's... the general just texts me saying he thinks it looks like a woman. So if that's the case, maybe it was one of them. Oh, yeah. And they're... You can almost see like a ponytail going down back of the head. And they're playing it off. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it the benefit of the doubt and say they're not complete scumbags and that it's real. All right, fine. I'll just go with that because it makes me feel better. You know what I mean? You know? All right. Um, well, so that's that. So you sent me a real or fake video. Sure that, did. Uh, was, I, you know, I was setting stuff up. I said, hey, Chris, can you, can you in a hurry, pick up, find a video? For this yeah. week, correct? Two seconds, I got it. And that two Don't seconds, me. you chose like a real piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like this is, you know what? This you is know next how... level garbage that we we haven't addressed early on. This was our our standard issue, you know? Right. So, but this is um, having a lot of trouble with Facebook here. Um, how I found the video is that while finding. Your, your articles, you saw it Brady, at the bottom of the page. Right. While I finding saw Craig well. News articles, I saw that video at the bottom, and I was like, we need a video. Boom. I'm not going to sit here and look for three hours. Here's a video. Right. We got it. I saw that, and I said, there's there's no effing way I'm using this on, on our show. But due to time restraints, listen, we're going to do it. It's going to be a good old back in the day, real or fake. You know what I mean? All right. It's going to be a back... Back in Here we the go. Way. And by the way, we have way no back background info on this. Oh, video. we know nothing. This is 
we this is awful. So here we go. I'm gonna play it. It loops twice, and then we'll come back. All right. Now oh, see. Okay, so this uh, little crew comes in. They say, hey. First of all, the person that says hey says it in a really creepy way. I'm going to. I'm gonna put the sound yeah. in. Okay. Listen to how she says hey. Yeah. Don't like it. I already got it. Someone said vibrations from the, the walking. So, these people walk in carrying pizza or something. They're ready to, they're ready to party, first off. That's what I was gonna let's say. Let's make, let's make some observations. They come in. This girl's got. She's got like chicken kickers. She's got pizza. This guy's got Sunny D. They're ready for a night. <laughs> They're ready for a real night. Okay. Um, so what's the second thing that you noticed in this video? I don't know. This guy's matching shirt and tight ass shorts. Look at it. Look at this. Boom. I wish I had the boldness to wear shorts like this man. I mean, you could definitely pull it off. I'm getting a lot of fakes already in the Facebook chat. Fake, they're walking, sounds hard. Uh, Roy said, from the floor vibrating. Debbie said, from the floor vibrating. Yeah, that's what I'm getting too, people walking. I just want to see it one more time again. Someone said, that's a dude. Yeah, it's a dude. Walk, he's just, you know, just, he's, he's playing that tight game. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is, is the floor vibrating. One, it's a glass table, so it's going to feel right. everything. But if you watch the frame as the first two people come by, you could actually start to see it moving a little bit. Oh, no way. Let's see. Let's see. See, I feel like it was, like, intentionally yanked. Hold on. Because it wow. doesn't... Yes. It looks like it starts turning as the like the it gets starts getting up to the second person and as the second person walks by it boom yeah someone said the same thing you said that it, it pivots from that one corner i mean i think it's someone pu pulling a string from that that tied to the end of that yeah that's what i'm getting jim said one corner gets pulled out looks like it's pulled by a string emma says i think prank so fake um I now, if this is like, if this is a fake to to put it out as a viral video, right? Yeah. Like, it's just so lame. It's right. just so and, lame. And honestly, we don't know if they put it out and claiming it was a ghost or they just posted it on YouTube or whatever and somebody just grabbed it and was like, oh, because there was no background info. Literally, the article was just this video. Not um, good. Not a good so sign. Somebody could have just stole the video and been like, all right, we're going to say this is a ghost. But then why would someone yank a wire if it wasn't them? I don't know if it's a wire. How can you? I mean, look, here, we'll watch. Okay, they walk past. You can see the one side pivot. Right, but I'm saying because of the vibration and the glass table. I get that. It's already causing it to move. But it would fall. And then the it would bigger just guy shimmy, it would just in. shimmy forward. Dude, it wouldn't the like turn. In, and that's when it all goes to shit. Like it moves from the most stable place. It moves from the piece that is fully on the table and turns off of it. All right, so you're going with wire. I'm going with wire. Let's get a team wire in the chat. Let's go. All right, Facebook, do you guys think it's a wire or do you think it's just the vibration of the glass? Let's go. Vidi.live, wire, or do we think it's the vibration of the glass? Let's I'm, see. I'm what waiting on get. Periscope here. I know who my boys are. Let's go. Wire or vibration? I do want to go to that party, though. It looks, looks like a great time. I mean, does it? <laughs> I mean, does it? Well, I guess, yo, this is pre-party, man. They've already got the Sunny D. They've already got... I got a wire. I got one wire. Oh, and I got a uh, vibe. 
And some I got oh, I got one. Jim says I agree. Wire. Uh, Vicky says vibration of the glass. So we got one and one in Facebook. I got a one and one on this side too. George says it's fake. Uh, I got Linda said a wire. Yeah, yeah, Linda. Up. Oh, Debbie said vibrations. Oh, George Debbie. said wire. Anthony said wire. Jim said fishing line. All right, I think the uh, the answer is wire. We'll go with wire. You know, and, and you know, will, will we ever really know? No, Chris. But what we're gonna go with, and what we do know is that it's fake as fuck. Dun 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 dun. dun. You like that? Love that. We I love, do that I every loved time. it too. Got to bring back the whistle. I can't. The baby's sleeping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! So we got a fake. We got a faff, and we're moving forward. Moving so, forward. I still haven't quite grasped the structure of the show yet i think i think we're, we just keep people on their toes and we do it different every time it's been 64 episodes and i still don't know what we're doing i don't know why we're I, here i don't know what we're doing and we're just doing it so what do we got i say we go into our facebook poll from the other week that we have yet to talk about all right we could do that hold on i have to like make the video happen again Oh. I just want to say the general thinks it was the floor vibration as well. Here we go. Here we go. Even though it's up already, we're doing the intro. Go. Son of a bitch. All right, we're not doing the intro today. But we have this. We're not doing the intro, but we have this. Oh, someone said, let's do Greggy News. You let them down. Uh, all right, Greggy News next. All right. Um, but this poll I put up, do you think your soul moves on into the universe when you die, or does it die with you? And a majority, an overwhelming majority, says that it moves on into the universe. Now, all right. May I? Go ahead, man. This I, is your show too. So, I do believe that you you are you are a piece of the universe, correct? All right. Everything is. So you're just being recycled back into that that thing. You know, your matter is like going to become something else. Uh huh. So yes, I don't think your consciousness necessarily continues forward, but you do. Pieces of you that were you become other things. Okay. But I'm not quite sure if your consciousness retains. Maybe it's just yo, that's it. You still exist. You're just something else now. What do you think? So I don't know if that, you know, I don't know if you could consider that being eliminated well, have forever. Ever, have you ever seen the uh, science articles online about how they believe the universe is conscious itself? No, I mean, I I love that shit, though. So there's there's an article I've seen several times. Have I read it? No. But um, <laughs> how can you how can you even talk about it then? I'm just letting you know what, what it what it's about and it's about the universe actually being conscious now i don't know why or how but would you say that has to deal with our soul and consciousness moving on into the universe i think i think i don't know so this is like a a paranormal show so my views on this might be a little not linking up to the I don't know man I go back and forth it's like what if this is just all perception generated by your brain like it's you're just experiencing it as a as a living situation right like why why does it have to be something elevated higher so you're saying you're well so are you saying that in the sense that if you die, you actually know that you're dead and you could actually see yourself leaving that this realm? See, I, no, I think you shut your brain is dead and then your ability to perceive the world is over. OK, like that's it. Um, Someone said we're in the Matrix. Could be. Emma said, I think our energy moves on and our spirit goes elsewhere. Rachel, uh, Rachel said, hi, guys. Hello, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Um, Hi. 
Vicky says I'm going to be a star in the sky. I already called it. Uh, Paula said everything is energy. Paula said that? Yeah. Is it this Paula? That is not nope, Paula. No, that's Deborah. Deborah had a similar thing to say. That we're energy. <laughs> I mean, we are. What do you think? Do you think that you that we are able to perceive existence after it's over? Wait, say that again? Like, I'll do, agree. Do you think you're, we're able to, like, consciously be aware after it's over? I, I... I want to say yes. I mean, that's a nice thing to think. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, Damn, nice man. Why are you know. just down and shit all over me while you're at it? I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. Though. You know, like, the whole ghost idea, I don't necessarily think it's like a... It might be like an imprint of something somehow. I don't know if it's like a conscious thing. But then again, you get, like, intelligent responses sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I do I think our soul moves on to the universe? I'm going to go with yes as well. But what does that does mean? That, I, I, I just don't think it's – when you die, I don't think it's the end-all, be-all. Like, I don't think that's it. Like, I think there's more. Do you think you're going to be Chris Bergenzer? No. I'm not saying – I'm not saying that. But I'm saying I just think there's more. I think do you do you think you'll be able to look on your Chris Bergenzer life and like reflect on that event? Um, possibly. I feel like I feel like you, sh in a way, you should. Be it would make sense for you to be able to do that if that makes sense. Why does that make sense? I just feel like because because isn't your memory retained in your brain? Yeah. All right. You are you just trying? Yeah, I'm I having know. a conversation. I'm having a conversation. <laughs> um. Sorry, I'm reading comments. Linda just said your brain stays alive so long after our body stops. So I think maybe your mind sees sees things, then they bring your body alive, then you remember. I don't know. I hope there is more. Um. Vicky mentioned reincarnation and what's your thoughts on that? And that's what I was kind of going towards when I was trying to explain, like, I think we move on. I think there is opportunity to reflect um, on our lives and what we, what we've done and what we went to. But I think you're not, I'm not Chris anymore. You're no longer Mike. I just think there's another level of consciousness. Could I be Zool? You could be, I sure, man. What if you come back as a, as a mosquito? That would blow. You don't want that. Yeah, uh, sure. But um, I mean, you're only alive for like a week, so fuck it, I guess, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting. What are you getting over there? Nothing. Um. Oh, what are we getting over there? Some people are saying reincarnation. Yeah, I, I think it's a form of reincarnation. I, I just think there's more to it overall. I don't think we just are done and done when. We hit the dirt. You know, day by day, that option sounds a little bit better all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> just hang up your hat and just say, see you later, alligator. I'm not I'm not dealing with any of this shit anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, if that's how you want to go, man. That's it. That's your, I'm not that's, saying I would like to continue, you know, like. That's up to you. But it's not up to me, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not up to me. All right, you want to get into some breggy news? Yeah, the graphic's not going to pop up, but... Damn, man, what's going on, on today? I'm going to make it happen. No, I had to, I, I already explained it. Here, I'll get the stupid graphic up. Hold on. First of all, let me get the song going. It's Sorry, take your time, because it's taking a while for Team to load on the other computer. <laughs> That's fine. Here it comes. Yeah! We miss one week, and everything goes to shit. No, I know it, it won't happen again. Do you have these in order by any chance? There's a... Tell me what it is. Uh, I was going to start with our alien spaceship video. Oh, that piece of shit. Sure, let's get that rolling. All right, here's the article. You can talk about it, and then we can show the video at the end. Great. Give me one second. It's loading. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, you will, obviously you watch the video. Oh, you did it! <laughs> Watch the video. <laughs> oh my god! 
It's all oh, good, man. Someone, all right, said, someone go. said nice graphic. Looks official. Thanks, man. That took me. That only took me a whole day to figure out. I appreciate it. Mike, right. listen, for everybody that's tuning into the show tonight, Mike's on his shit when it comes to this show. When it comes to the graphics and everything else, Mike doesn't uh, fuck around. And he really tries to make it as best as we can make it every every week. Right. My best is medium, but, you know, that's what I'm, that's all I got. That's all I got. So what's going on with this spaceship? All right. So UFO sighting. This article is from Express. Uh, God damn it. Yeah. Okay. I accept the articles and cookie. What the fuck? They have to do that on Paranormal Warehouse, too. Well, everything just... Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Every, everything's freezing. Give me, give me, give me like 30 seconds. Oh, here well, we go. We're giving it to you. We got time to kill, right? Thanks, Mike. UFO sighting spaceships with aliens on board seen landing in Doncaster Garden. A UFO has been seen landing in the front garden of a house in Doncaster, which... Alien enthusiasts are claiming is proof of an extraterrestrial presence on Earth. Um, and it, I can't read it. That's good. Well, you know what's really funny? I'm going to show the video, right? And I don't know how they can claim that there are aliens on this. Whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing and, and watch this piece of garbage. Okay. So first of all, this is this is the quality we're dealing with, and here it comes. There it is. It's, it's mini aliens. I mean, is it? Maybe. That you don't see him walk out. Well, what so, could that be? Oh, I know, I know. So let me get. Do you know what this is? Yeah. So let me get more I have, into the. I have an, uh, go ahead. So, a video which was titled UFO Ship with Aliens on Board Crashed into the Sand Pile on My Driveway was uploaded to YouTube by the user Taiho Gro. The video quickly racked up thousands of visitors because of the strange activity which some are struggling to explain. A bright, pulsating light can be seen drifting slowly towards the ground. The user who uploaded the video said, Aliens exist and now living in my 10 ton sand pile on the driveway. The sighting was quickly picked up by conspiracy theorists, with some claiming it is proof of alien activity. Prominent alien hunter Scott C. Waring shared the sighting, which occurred on January 17th, on his blog, UFO Sightings Daily. Mr. Waring said the video shows a globe of light that lands in the garden of a house in the town of Doncaster, located in South Yorkshire, England. Yorkshire. In the security cam video, you can see how the sphere of light once landed seems to stand for a few seconds in the garden. The eyewitness then states that the light then suddenly in a flash of light disappears, but I don't see this in the video. Perhaps the eyewitness cut it out for some unknown reason. While some believe the footage was shows proof, the real answer. While some believe the footage was proof of aliens, others were not so convinced by its authenticity and offered simpler explanations. YouTuber Larry Maxwell Wheel commented on the original video saying probably a Chinese lantern candles put off a lot of light, which would look exactly like it does in the video. Another comment commenter, uh, S fear Fox agreed writing the simple explanation beneath the video. It's a Chinese lantern landing. That's what I was going to say. That's what lover of mutts on Periscope said. What were you going to say? I was going with mini aliens. Yeah. <clears throat> No? I don't think so, dude. Unfortunately not. You know? Well, I mean, the guy tried. Um, speaking of aliens, though, have you watched Project no. Blue on no. History Channel? No. I've been keeping up with it every week. Is it good? Hmm? It's not bad. So it's all based on true events, and at the end of each episode, they talk about the real event that <laughs> happened and, like, the outcome. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. There, for for whatever reason, this has nothing to do with the show. There's like a, it's an hour show, but there's a shit ton of commercials. Like, there's only they cut to the show every like five minutes, and then it's all commercials, and then it's like five minutes, and then all commercials. Like, I feel like there's barely actually any content. Yeah, that's but, that's history though. Like, you know, that ancient alien show. They just show the same thing over and over and over. Oh yeah, and over actually, and over again. 
tonight for breaking news, I almost had an article about ancient aliens declassified of how basically it's everything that was in all the ancient alien other uh, episodes that they just put into this other thing that's supposed to be more information, which really it's not. Um, and I was going to talk about that, but I figured uh, the shit I came up with was better anyway. But this, anyway, this if, video you didn't watch that's clearly trash. You, yeah, this is what we we went with. Um, I mean, I was just hoping it was mini aliens, man. That's all miniature aliens. You know, who, who doesn't hope that it is? Yeah. Uh, but if you get a chance, uh, if you're watching right now, check out on History Channel Project Blue Book and let us know what you think. I keep up with it every week now. I DVR it uh, and watch it usually over the weekends um, because on Tuesday nights it comes on at seven o'clock here on the west coast and my ass is already in bed so I feel that uh, alright let's move on to the next breaking news article this radio burst one no that is not from this week oh I know why let's do this so give a little background is this the guy with the voices at the jail yep okay so let, so me, this... let, me, let me play the video uh, okay. And then we'll discuss it. Now, I I took clips from the video. Okay. I got the feeling that these people would be schmucks and copyright strike us if I played the whole thing. So I clipped it. All right? Okay. And, and they claim to have captured voices on the spirit box. I've never seen this device before. Okay. Um, okay. But I, I clipped out some, some potential evidence, right? Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Is there somebody over there? They can hear you. Somebody say me. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's over. Um, I'll let it roll. Yeah. Is there somebody so, over there? But the, all right. So there was also another clip. Excuse me, that they got EVP. I don't have that. Okay. I don't have that. Here, so I'll you want you? This just, is, all right, go ahead, guy. This is from the Daily Star. Explorers venture into abandoned prison in the dead of night. When they what they film is terrifying. Is the title. Um, David Scott and John Stevens, who run the YouTube channel Paranormal Experience. Visited the old Juliet prison in Illinois, U.S. in, uh, in Illinois. Uh, in this video, they were hoping to speak to an apparent ghost that remained in the abandoned building, amid rumors of an old exit room was haunted. Speaking to a frequency uh, research device, a tool common among ghost hunters, David began. Oh yeah, to ask, what is it? What is it? Somebody David tell began me. to ask, tell me how it works, please. David began to ask if there were any ghosts. He was left shook to his core when he played back the recording and appeared to hear the unseen spirit answering questions. That's the clip you do not see here, but um, basically they got uh, two intelligent responses saying um, hi and then ple uh, please leave or leave now. Um so David asks, who's in the room with us right now, who just touched me, to which the apparent spirit is heard replying, hi, get out. The modern-day Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters believe they even caught the anomaly on camera, using a modified camera that it claims to pick up any extra guests that are lurking around the room. David was shocked to find the ghost stood just centimeters away, standing at the height of a small child. The unexplained figure appears to talk directly into the hunter's audio device, to which the apparent spirit is heard replying. David asks, who is in this room? Tell me your name. And again, the ghostly, the ghost simply replies, hi. The ghost then appears to walk around David and stand behind him. The old Joliet prison was an active correctional center from 1858 to 2002. Damn. It was used as Damn. a prison... It was used as a prisoner of war camp during the Civil War between 1861 and 1865, but it is not the first time so-called spirits have been caught on camera. A man recently experienced a terrifying encounter when visiting his friend's house. I don't know why that has anything to do with the prison, but there's that. Um, what, are you, what are your thoughts? I'm doing some research, okay? 
I'm sleuthing while you're talking. So I saw that little device that he has that's called the Radio Spectre, right? Yeah. I found the website, and we're going to find out together what the device is. Are you ready? Okay. It's loading really slow. I don't even, I don't even know if the website is working. <laughs> let's, let's go to about. Let's just figure out what this is all about here. Oh, here it is. Oh, that website is down. It does not have a website. All right, so on the device, it says 100% static free, genuine analog sweep, AM band tuner, extreme wide range sweep speeds, lightweight and portable, keeps design, no kits or hack tuners, handmade and tuned. So it's doing the same thing that uh, that they all do. Right. It's just scanning through. Now, I will give it this. Yeah, what are you going to give That website it? does not exist. Um, in the beginning of the clip, it says something about, like, it's burning. It's, like, hot in here or some shit. What does it say? Hold on. It says run. Burning. Place is fucking burning. That's a weird thing to capture. And it, it, if you listen to the clip, it is clear as day. Right. And it's, like, the same voice. So that is a bizarre thing to to get on the radio. Right. Cause we've gotten, we've used devices similar, um, where it sweeps through the radio frequencies, but we've gotten words and voices and stuff, but we chalked it up to being the radio coming right. through. I mean, it sounds bizarre, you know, it's, it's clear and it's specifically saying like a, that situation is taking place. I don't know. It's weird, man. I was going to poo poo all over it, but that's an interesting thing to capture on a, a spirit box type device. Usually it's just garbled nonsense from the radio, you know? Right. So I right. don't know. I don't know. I'd like to know how it works more. I don't know if it's different or whatever. So I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's interesting. I would love to go to that prison myself and check it out. I mean, we, uh, we just don't overall as a group believe in that type of device. Um, it is interesting to get that because that's not something you would probably hear normal on the radio, I right. guess, or somebody talking about, um, I don't know. That's how I feel. I don't know. Look I feel us. like more research would have to be done and basically compare evidence with other groups and actually investigate see what, that. See what the dilly is, as, yeah, as see, they say, uh, see if we could get anything, uh, interesting on that too uh vicky said wasn't there a fire in at that jail uh i don't i don't know I, yeah someone said radio specter has a facebook page yeah that's where i found it um but not that much info if there was a fire that's crazy i mean i would pro i i mean the place has been around for so long what's the name what, of this he, place the joliet prison i'm on it i mean it's been around i think it said 1858 to 2002 so in that amount of time is there a chance there was a fire there at, of, of some capacity? I'm sure, probably, right? There was. There was a fire. But it was like... I think it was in 2017. Oh. Well, the place closed down in 2002. Yeah. No, in 2013, a fire destroyed a maintenance building there. Uh, two 18-year-old women exploring the abandoned grounds had to call police after one of them accidentally locked herself in a cell. Blah, blah, blah. But there was a fire. Um, I don't, it doesn't seem like it had any fatalities, thankfully. So that's weird. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it definitely doesn't make sense that the fire was in 2017, though, but... I don't know. I mean, there could have been a fire that it wasn't logged, like from 1858, or that record was lost. Right. Uh, who, who the fuck knows? Who knows, man? I wanted to say Hakuna Matata for I don't know what reason, but... Okay. Okay. Um, how, about, how about these guys? You want to do this one? Yeah, this is the last one of the night uh, for breaking news. This is actually on CNN Travel. This isn't really paranormal, but it's kind of weird and creepy. Yo, totally I, weird and creepy, dude. In my opinion. So, 
uh, basically a plane was just a ghost plane was abandoned at the Madrid airport. It's pas- passengers we three, see only a- three planes. Oh, I read that wrong then. Uh, as passengers, we see only a tiny uh, part of airports, which are probably full of intriguing stories if you know where to look. However, at one Spanish airport, airport, ugh, a hulking aviation oddity has been hiding in plain sight. Officials from the uh, Adolfo Suarez Madrid Bar- Bar- Barajas Airport are trying yes. to find the owners of a plane that has been parked on the tarmac without moving for years. Airport director Ilana Mayoral submitted an official notice to the Bulletin Official del Estado, the official gazette of the Kingdom of Spain, informing the nation of a plane in in an obvious state of abandonment at the airport. The plane is uh, McDonnell Douglas MD-87, according to the notice registration number ECKRV. A similar plane converted to a luxury luxurious private jet is currently on sale for 4.8 million Woo. at bloomer devere De, uh, a jet sales company in california it has not been confirmed how long the plane has been parked a spokesperson for madrid airport told cnn via telephone that the plane is the only uh is the only aircraft currently abandoned at the site oh, maybe, maybe, three, maybe it is one yeah where do you get three points from Fucking weirdo. i don't know maybe under spanish law under Spanish law, authorities must publish official notices about the plane for three consecutive months and then wait a year to see if the owner comes forward to claim it, which is kind of bullshit. The guy left it there, just fucking whatever with it. It's yeah, you got that wait, shit. You got to wait another three months. If they do not, the plane will be considered legally abandoned. And it will be sold off by the state at a public auction. While many planes lay idle at graveyards around the world, it is rel- relatively rare for them to be abandoned at working airports. Another similar case occurred at the Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia in 2015. This is where you got the three from. Three huge Boeing 747 cargo planes were abandoned at different times at the airport, prompting an appeal to funding owners after the jets were left untouched for over a year. Airport officials, eager to clear the massive clutter, took out ads in Malaysia's The Star and Sinchu Daily newspapers asking for the owner to kindly come and collect their planes. In December, CNN observed two of the three abandoned planes still sitting at the airport. However, these two cases are unusual in an industry that usually has the infrastructure in place to handle unwanted aircraft. Spain is home to the largest industrial airport in Europe. Uh, It hosts aircraft from all over the world that have been withdrawn from service, but it temporarily, temporarily or permanently and caters to their maintenance needs. Some aging airliners may be scrapped here after being stripped for about valuable parts and spares, but plenty of new, perfectly serviceable aircraft are also stored. Wow. Uh, wow. So this is what creeps me out about it. Go ahead. If it was like a two-seater plane, I'd be like, all right, I get it. Maybe someone died or some shit. You don't know. Yeah. What these are gigantic planes. Who was I mean, flying it, them? Who was in them? How do they not know who owned them? How do they land there? Why are they there? Uh, I mean, the bigger bigger planes. Maybe it was like an insurance thing. Like they just drop them off. Say they either crashed or whatever or unusable. Maybe it was like an insurance claim or bankruptcy thing. It's gotta be. Because how how are there no like identifying marks on the plane? It's shady yeah. as shit. You know? it, well, even well, the one plane that they're talking about in Madrid and saying that it's registered, they have the registration stuff for it. Wouldn't that go back to who the owner was? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's weird. So I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel bad. I uh, my phone died, so I can't talk to the people at Periscope. So, oh, sorry, Periscope. I love my you guys, stuff. though. I love you guys, though. Um, paranormal trash. Sure, let's do paranormal trash, and don't forget, we still got scary stories. I forgot dude. about that. Hold on, let me, let me. But uh, give me a break for a minute, and we can do paranormal trash. Uh, I'm trying to do the. This is really, you know. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We did it folks. Paranormal trash. Here we go. My mic. Here we go. Sorry if I'm All 
right, so what did we pick? My what wife did... my wife chose this oh, theme. Man. My wife chose this theme. Can I get a hint? Um It's technically a person. It's technically a person. Uh, I don't know. The devil? Witches. Oh, shit. We have a bunch of witches and ghouls. We did witches before. Well, we're going to do them again. <laughs> <laughs> First video. Uh, let's get that up there. All right, so this guy was filming this strange woman walking across a field you know agreeably witch like yeah but could just be an old lady with alzheimer's wandering in a field you know what i mean and instead, right. of, instead of going over and saying oh, hello old woman how can i assist you he just filmed her and then walked away in fear <laughs> okay i mean you know acting strange maybe she's out there doing her thing you know I don't know. What do you think about this witch? I think this witch is probably just on some drugs and having a grand old time out in that yeah, field. Yeah, she's just she's having a great time today. Good for her. You know what? Let's get a hashtag good for her. <laughs> out there doing what she does. All right, this next witch. All right, so there's some, like, Blair Witch shit going on here. They have twigs set up. They have shit tied on trees very creepy and then he's eventually going to capture a witch oh he's gonna capture no on camera okay look at all this weird little knitting and then <gasps> did i hear something no i'm gonna capture some more weird netting and then and then we're gonna capture some more weird netting and then there she goes <laughs> Did you see her run? Here it goes. Yeah, I saw it. So how can you claim that this is a witch? Is my you question. Can't. How dare you, dude? He saw it. He knows he was there, man. <laughs> he was there. I'll tell you what, you did a good job with the trash so far. <laughs> it's good. Now I know we've done the witches already. Right. But this is gonna be a two parter. Okay. Because there was I, I so I I grouped three together for this week. Next right. week there's only gonna be two paranormal trashes, but the last one is a really funny paranormal trash. Okay. Okay, let's do the third though. Here we go. Alright, so this guy is it's from another country. I don't know what language he's speaking, but he's flashing his brights, this like old weird lady is in the road. And I'm not I don't have audio on this, but he he is freaking out right now. He's like yelling, screaming. This old lady starts coming at him at some point. I think this is some stage shit right here. You know? Yeah. There's like a cane involved. Very hobbly. I don't know. Now, my question to you is, is it is this a poor old lady or is this some like bullshit right here? I think it's some bullshit. Yeah, so do I. It's funny, though. You should hear him. He's like, oh, help me, blah, 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 freaking out, crying. That was a very poor representation of what he sounded like. Why does he keep flashing his lights? If he's I, I so... think he wants to get past. He's like, get out of the way, probably. Yo, there's enough room. He can you know, speak I don't, past I don't know. I don't know specifically what he's saying. But he is, you know, from the tone, it sounds like he's saying, like, get out of the road. And then she starts coming at him, and he freaks out. And he's very upset. So. I mean, that she gets pretty close. She comes at him at one point. Uh, I want to see that. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Chris. Here, yeah. Here she, here she comes. She's coming at him. She's coming at him. Going quick. Quicker than expected. All right, so you're on a dirt road, right? Mm -hmm. You're in your truck, your new truck. Uh, Chris got a new truck, everybody. 
Congratulations. Thanks, man. How's that thing? Tra tra how's that thing treating you? Traded in the Wrangler for a compass. It's great. I love it. Uh, actually, has power locks and power windows, which is a big upgrade from the Wrangler. You're picking up the ladies in that in that truck? No, no ladies yet. <laughs> um. So, at what point do you run the person over? Is what I'm trying to get at here, or would you? I wouldn't, but I would either go in the opposite direction and just go around, like go another way, or I would just speed past. Now, this is a dirt road. Your compass could probably handle it. My Honda Accord, I'm not going off-road with that thing. All right. What are my options? Go in reverse and go a different way. So you're saying I don't hit the person, is what you're saying. Right, yeah. <laughs> probably the it's probably we'll go with that as the right answer good for you you know i mean just trying to save you some jail time you I, know? well you know i could say i was scared we host a show and it, it was reminiscent of some things we discussed and it scared me that's it that's all i got all right that is that the last video yeah oh all right you want to do uh quick scary stories sure um, here we go. Let's get this graphic going. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get all this going here. Because I don't know how to set anything up. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. All right, Bryce. We're, we're around the fire. We have made some s'mores. Oh, it feels so toasty. Right? For everybody in the polar vortex, here you go. I'm in a polar vortex right now. But not even, dude. Like, dude, some people are like negative 40. Yeah, it's like negative 50 up in Chicago. That's insane. Uh, it, it was negative 16 by my parents in Pennsylvania. Um, so, uh, here we go. Uh, this is, so every scary story this, um, Every show, I can't even talk. Every yeah. show, I'm going to do one from each state, and then I'll do uh, some side ones of people that submitted to different websites and whatnot. So this one is uh, from Alaska. Ooh, Alaska. I feel like there's something inherently spooky about Alaska. About Alaska? Yeah, it's, well, just, it's far away. It's dark they have all a lot the time. Of, they have that, what is it, like uh, several months where it's just night? Yeah, dude, it like promotes depression. You're not getting any sunlight. It's probably a rough go. Right. So this is um, this story is from Alaska. So at the height of the Klondike Gold Rush, a woman named Mary moved into the Golden North Hotel in Skagway with her fiance, a prospector known as Klondike Ike. Before their marriage, good old Ike, Klondike Ike. Before their marriage, Ike set off for the gold fields to make his fortune. But Ike never returned. Mary locked herself in their room and waited, her anxious anticipation of Ike's arri arrival turning to dread and despair. The innkeepers eventually broke down the door and found Mary dead in her wedding dress. No. Guests at the Golden North Hotel report that, quote, scary Mary oh. still roams the halls, appearing over their beds at night to check that Ike isn't sleeping with anyone else. Oh, shit. First of all, it's sad that Mary had Klondike Ike pass away. But why is she why is she worried about him sleezing around with other women in the afterlife? Klondike Ike was probably a, probably a scumbag. Yeah, it would make more sense if they said that she's standing over your bed checking to see if Ike is there. No, she's she's checking to see if Ike is getting the dirty on with yeah. the ladies. Um, Yo, so, did you hear that that lady who married the ghost pirate uh, got divorced from the ghost pirate? Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, all right. So this is the last scary story of the night. I'll do this one real quick. We got four minutes. Uh, this comes from myunigaze.com. It's called Demon in the Dark. Oh, shit. My family traveled to the south of France to stay in a cottage owned by someone my dad worked with. The yeah. owners visited occasionally, but that summer it was free, and we had 10 days booked, booked there. After a long two days on the road, we drove down a steep driveway towards a secluded mill cottage. 
with the water wheel sat static alongside the stone house. It was a deep cellar with stone stairs down under the wheel next to the house, and a small river circled the place. We went into the house and chose rooms, but being set down in a small co cops, the house was draft. What? The house? It's not written well. The house was drafty. <laughs> Drafty and cold from lack of use. We settled in and turned all the heating on, yet the house remained cold and felt damp. The first night we had set a fire in the living room and listened to a couple of audiobooks before my sister and I went to sleep. My parents stayed up a little longer than went to bed. Around midnight, they both woke up at exactly the same time, and the door to their bedroom was opening slowly. At first, they thought it was my sister until they saw a large, dark silhouette of a man framed in the doorway standing stock still just looking in their direction as if appraising them. After a short period, the shape turned and started to move as if satisfied and disappeared. They looked at each other but didn't speak. Both went back to sleep. The next morning, the house felt warm and dry, and sunlight was back through the windows as if something had lifted and accepted them. Mm. They spent the next day and both agreed that although they were skeptics, it could not have been anything other than something supernatural in that doorway deciding their worth. Wow. Now, that was from Dave. So that's all I got for scary stories this week because we ran out of time, but I will have more next week with Campfire with Bregs. Okay. Campfire stories with Bregs. So to end the show, I just want to say thank you to everybody tuning in tonight and make sure to tune in next Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, same place, same time. We will be here with more paranormal videos and real or fake and uh always let us know what you think uh thank you again for tuning in check out paranormalwarehouse.com and our instagram and definitely our youtube if you're new to paranormal warehouse youtube we constantly constantly have live haunted cams running so subscribe to our youtube channel and you could get all those updates um as we go live wow great um yeah i'm gonna throw something else in here while you're reading that story I got a text from a random number. Can you guess what it says? No. It says, Michael, laser hair removal, 50% off all services. <laughs> I don't know who this is. It's some ad bullshit, man. I'm done with these ads. I'm done with these calls. I know. I'm done. I'm done. I'm putting it out there on the internet uh, right now. Mike Diamond's done. All right. Well, everybody stay warm if you're in the polar vortex, and uh, we will see you next week. See ya. Have a good night.